Blammo, Bitcoin Jim here. Not Bitcoin Ben, but Bitcoin Jim. And I'm here to say Bitcoin is king, man. Bitcoin is freaking awesome. We had a kind of a lull for a while. It was back at 25,000. My good old boy, Jimmy Kramer, was like, buy Bitcoin if you want to. <laughs> but I want it. <laughs> Do the opposite of Kramer, you might do all right. There is an index which tracks the inverse Kramer, which shows what would happen if you did everything the opposite of what Kramer recommends. You'll do fine. He's just a clown, man. He's obviously uh, paid to say certain things to kind of influence the market. Whatever idiot watches CNBC, give me a break. You're, you're crazy, man. Anyway, Bitcoin is king. Why is that? This is from today. 1,200. Look at that. I mean... Two o'clock, 1400 hours, military time, that's 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we have a nice volume, look at that volume, bum, 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 lots of volume right here. Can you guys see that? Look at all that yummy volume. And with the vo yummy volume, you get these nice candles, these nice spikes. And we got all the way from like 38, 4, all the way up to almost uh, 40, baby, 37, uh, 39, 8. And it kind of trickled out a bit, leveled out. It's just these fucking, oh, these, sorry, these whales or someone came in and bought some. And it's a Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. What the heck is going on? Then a couple hours goes by and we get the candles up here. Oh my God, what did it go? Little candles reaching again, not quite breaching 40, but getting there. So we're, oh my God, I think 40 is a psychological wall and uh. On one of the earlier charts on this page, this is the Coinbase Pro page, uh, formerly the GDAX, G-D-A-X uh, app that was tied with Coinbase back in the uh, earlier days. If you're, if you're OG, you may know GDAX, and that's how I bought most of my stuff because you weren't paying the fees or anything. You were actually moved your money in from Coinbase, transferred it over real quick. It just moved real quick. You'd set your buy or sell orders based on the price and you would watch it. And you see on the left here, see the volume? That tells you the size of the order. 1.953 Bitcoin. They're looking to, uh, they're looking to buy or sell. I can't remember what green or red is. It's an aggregation of 0.1 difference. But you can see there's some two big orders and it's fluctuating. You go watch it, it's kind of interesting. And those are horizontal ball, uh, balls, <laughs> bars on the side, which give you an indication of volume. And here you can see right here on the right. I'm not logged in, so the stupid thing is highlight is getting gray when I mouse over. And you can see the trades going through right here. Pretty interesting app. It's like TradingView. But anyway, the reason I like Bitcoin, I'm saying Bitcoin is king, because they always say, well, now the second tier coins or the shit coins will follow. Who cares about them, man? I'll mine them, but I want to get paid in Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin is the leader. Wherever Bitcoin goes, the other ones will go. But who cares? How are you going to sell those other coins? Some good exchanges, which I suggest you stick with the good exchanges, uh, where you can make sure you can move your, your crypto over and it's not going to get lost or stolen. Or once they have your keys and you don't dump it, not your keys, not your coins. And then you'll be like, oh, I lost everything. Yeah, don't be that guy. Be smart. And my advice from earlier on a stream, Whenever you go to move crypto to a wallet or you're sending crypto, whenever you're doing that, double, double check. Make sure it's quiet. There's no kids screaming in your ear. The wife isn't nagging you. Um, make sure it's quiet. Double verify, triple dog verify the uh, wallet address that, you know, if you're sending Bitcoin, you're sending in like to a Bitcoin wallet. If you're sending Litecoin, you're sending to a Litecoin wallet. Check that. Number two. Why are you sending this money? Are you being scammed? Never send anything. I got scammed once I was stupid again. I'm telling you what I did so you don't re do, make my mistake. Quiet environment, verify the address. Now go away for 20 minutes and think about what am I gonna do here? Why do I wanna do this? Nine times out of 10, you won't do it. Just, you'll say, ah, just keep my, my crap in the wallet. I don't need to mess with this. Because every time you touch your portfolio, whether it's crypto or equities and stocks, you mess it up. It does better when sometimes you don't touch it, unless you want to move it to an exchange and sell it or buy it or whatever. If you're going to make a serious transaction, yeah, that makes sense. But in general, you better have your keys and coins so you are in control. Big advice. You should know this. I'm probably preaching to the choir. 
But Bitcoin is king. Look at it now. It's 39.4. Loving this thing. It's kind of exciting. Uh, what, a month ago or so? It was at 25. Let's zoom out. Now, how far can I zoom out here? I can go 12.2. I can't go any further. Why not? All right, let's go over to, we're going to go to Yahoo's. I think I can zoom out on that one. I probably didn't do something right there. Uh, Bitcoin, 39,400 right now. I'm going to go to the Yahoo Finance page. Gablamo, 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 blamo, blamo. All right, what you can do on this Yahoo thing, click on chart. Clicking on the chart. There we go. This is the interactive chart, and it's slow. Yahoo Finance. All right, let's do you, what I suggest to on this app. Go full screen, and it's, it updates when the price changes. So it's kind of sweet uh, that way. So here we go. We are August. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at this right here. 25,162 on September 10th. Uh, Kramer's probably going, I wouldn't even type Bitcoin. <laughs> and then blammo. Look at that. It's all speculation, right? But it's fun. It's like going to the casino for me. That's what I say. Uh, small bit of money in it, not much. And we're just having fun with this. That's why I say it's king. It leads all others. It is digital gold. Uh, I'm not trying to be like those guys from a year, year and a half ago. Jack Paso, Paso, he had his show with his two brothers and they were pumping Bitcoin. It's going to 100,000. They're not around anymore. They were really pumping it. And then that Bitcoin Ben dude with his little, uh, his little dude surrounding him. If you ever watch those shows, they're so funny because every video, they would always CYA, cover, you know, cover their butts. And like with this, this is just entertainment. This is not financial advice. If you're taking financial advice from someone on YouTube, you should not be on YouTube. Do not. You, you kind of should pay a financial advisor because they will look out for you. <laughs> Do not listen to anyone on YouTube. This is for entertainment. But on uh, on that Bitcoin Benny show, it's so funny. They always the the one Schiller guy is he's almost a used car salesman type, or it looks like he I don't know. I, it just makes your your little spidey sense goes off like something's going on here. He'd always say, and Bitcoin Ben would even say, it could go up, it could go down, it could stay even, it could maybe do nothing. I'm like, okay, that's great advice. Thank you. I'm gonna send you uh, super chats. It was silly. I just got to kick it. Again, I treat it as entertainment. And I'm going, my God, these guys get millions of views. It was just mind boggling. You could just, ah. Anyway, I like Bitcoin. I think it's interesting. Uh, it seems to be a little separate now from the equities. Remember, it was tied almost one to one if the stocks went down. Freaking Bitcoin went down, vice versa. You know, it went up. Now it seems to be kind of going up on its own a little bit. Totally a little disconnected from the equities market, the stocks, stock exchange which might be a good sign. We still have that BlackRock e um, uh, ETF hovering out there, which I think I think the decision is near, probably after the holidays. So I don't know. I think the psychological factor right now on Bitcoin is the 40K mark. I'm just amazed it's at, it's at this uh, height. And what I've been doing since uh, it was at 26 or seven, I just been dollar cost averaging a few bucks here and there. Uh, and when I go through Fidelity to do it, they always jack the price up. You're paying a higher price. Say it's trading at thirty thousand, you're paying like thirty thousand two hundred. You know they they want to. I don't know. They're, they're getting a piece of the pie. That's fine. They get their fees. Everyone wants their fees. All right. What else we got going on? I'm gonna go back to this GDAX thing. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not seeing that bar thing. I must have screwed up something. So I'm not logged in. I got Bitcoin over here. There's the different, the different uh, fiats and different exchanges you could do. We want the good old years, day. Uh, we got USD set up and we were just watching. But you can see the lows and highs. If you want to go watch this thing, it's kind of interesting. Well, I want to spend more than five minutes on it, but just look, look around, check it out. And there is usually a wall in here. I'm just like, it'll show the current price. And I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it right now. Let's try to figure this thing out. Price chart. Yep, there we go. Blammo, depth chart, depth chart. So here we got uh, the open orders. Here's the buy orders. And look at this. Look at this wall coming. 
And I think, it, yeah, look at that, 40,000. There's a lot of orders in there for 40,000. These are sell orders. And you can see how much they want to, with the volume. This is everything. This is all the orders. Here's the price. 38.6. Thirty-nine. As you see, we go up. You can see it's fighting. Here's the price right now, and the orders, the sells and put, the sells and puts, the sells and buys are in there fighting. And on the right here, you can see that as well. And on the left, you can see the volume here, the green bar for the volume of the sale. Uh, some big ones are like someone selling one bitcoin. Uh, it's just kind of cool to watch the market. And here's this big wall, man. That's the psychological wall. Buy five hundred. This is the volume. 21 million, holy crap. <laughs> I'm telling you, 40,000 is a psychological barrier. So we'll see, that's why Bitcoin's king, it's fun. Uh, I'm not watching a Raptorium, I'm not watching Varus coin. I don't even know, I have, and that was my point why Bitcoin is king. I can dump this Fidelity, Coinbase, <clears throat> Gemini, uh, the other exchanges have disappeared, BlockFi, Voyager, they're gone. And now Binance, I don't know what's going on with them. I just see there's, I try not to look into that one too much. A lot of uh, people are being charged with crap. Who knows? But what are you going to do if you got um, red coin? These, I'm going to tell you some of the little pissy coins I got. They're like six years old. Uh, they're worth a fraction of a penny. <laughs> Maybe I have 10 cents. It's so ridiculous. Uh, so I have red coin. I have Raptorium. I am staking it on iNodes. They're making huge buku feeds, fees off me. The danger there is they have my keys and coins so I could lose all my Raptorium. If the little stupid iNode server goes down, I'm gone, that's out. What am I gonna do with that? Where do I sell that? I have no idea where to sell Raptorium. Uh, it's so stupid. And then uh, what's the other one? Redcoin, Raptorium, Ver uh, Pulsar. I got Pulsar, I'm staking that in a wallet. I don't, what am I gonna do with that? Uh, if I can convert that to Bitcoin, I'm gonna maybe look at that tonight. Convert those little those little puppies to Bitcoin. I'll take a dollar in Bitcoin over freaking Pulsar, Redcoin, and Raptorium. Uh, yeah. And when I was mining Zerg Pool, what I would do in the beginning, I was just getting Raptorium. Yay, Raptorium! It's gonna make me a billionaire. But no. Uh, what I learned to do then is mine Raptorium or mine the most profitable coin on Zerg Pool, which is fun. You can learn a lot and get paid out in um. Bitcoin. And once I get to like $50 in uh, Bitcoin, blammo, I would transfer it over to my wallet. So it's my keys, my coin, it's in my wallet and I'm happy. So that was fun. Uh, yeah, Bitcoin's cool. So that is why I like my Bitcoin. Uh, I just follow that. You just, after doing this since 2016, I got so sick of the shit coins. I got so sick of the, uh, those, uh, uh, what do you call it? Flashy YouTube guys. Bitcoin to 100,000. And uh, what was the thing? They used to have a saying on the Paso show, Jack show. To the moon. I don't know if that was them or the other guys. It was just crazy. And when everyone's all happy like that, that's when you got to get out. And that's when you should have gotten out if you want to take profits. I think it was at 60K at the time. Don't be afraid to take profits. I would go to Investopedia and just look up or, or do a... Uh, AI chat, AI or barred AI uh, prompt and say, what is the best strategy for taking profits? Oh, they might not do financial stuff. Go to Investopedia and just look up taking profits. You got to take profits. Otherwise, you'll go up and you'll be all happy. And then a week later, someone will tweet something about a Dogecoin and then blammo, everything goes back down to $10,000 $10, from highs of, say, 40, 45. It can happen. And it's happened before. So you got to say, okay, I'm happy. I'm up. I'm going to make uh, 500 bucks. I put in 500 bucks and I made 500 bucks. I'm going to take my original 500 bucks out, my core investment, let them house money ride. You could do that. That's a strategy. Again, not financial advice. You can let it ride. I like holding, just letting it ride because I don't need that cash. It's a small percentage of, uh, the, old, of the old Bitcoin gym, Rocco Taco investment portfolio. <laughs> It's so stupid when you say it out loud. Oh my God. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, where are we at? So here we go. Here we are. There's the order. Look at that. They're waiting for a buy. Look at that. They're waiting. Come on, Big Daddy. Come on. What's it? What's the price? Buy at 39.3, 39.4, 39.5. So these are the orders going through. Buy, 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 buy. And then these are the uh, these are sells. If it hits 39, they're going to sell. The, so these guys, I think, are hedging their bets. If it drops to the 39, drop out, take some profits. That's what I'm guessing. 39, sell, 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 sell. Yeah, pretty wild times. All right. There you go. Bitcoin's goal. It's going to make you... Uh, it may, it, it could, it's like anything. You could buy Tesla, you could stock, you could buy Nvidia and you can make a lot of money off that too. You just don't know, this is fun, but it's cool to see if it does go up and then we're coming around in a month, these uh, ETFs start coming out. How, what, what's the limit? What's, what is Bitcoin gonna do? I mean, is there a limit on how, how high it could go or what it's gonna happen to the actual project and the happening and all that crap? You just don't know. It's kind of, so that's why it's cool. It's kind of interesting to see what's going to happen. All right, I'm babbling on here. Let's do one roundup and we'll get out of here. So Bitcoin's king, focus on that. Mine whatever you want, if you're a miner, uh, for fun. And uh, mine's a bitch too, because you got to worry about that stupid reporting crap. Uh, but if you're doing nice hash, you're really just getting that crypto. Now eh, it's almost like ether mine too. I got to think about that. It might, I, want to, I wonder if the tax reporting is different. Who cares? All right, Bitcoin's king. That's the main point. <laughs> All right, here we are, big guys, big daddies. Uh, quick roundup here on the CPU mining. 12, 12.96 per day. It's gone up. It was hovering at seven per day. Current, uh, current actual profitability. I'm about 116.70. Again, that's the, based on the spot price of Bitcoin at 39. So that's kind of cool. But there's my little Satoshis. My little Satoshi sitting out on my nice hash wallet what i'll eventually do is get those moved over to my wallet where i own them so not that i don't trust nice hash but i don't trust anything where i don't own the coins i learned that not the hard way but i got out of those exchanges blockfi and voyager in time when everything started to crash yeah but i'm glad if i would have left my stuff in there that would have been bad all right, here's here's some charts you can look at. All right, enough of that crap. So anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think 40,000 for Bitcoin is the psychological barrier uh, that's gonna make this thing go higher? Or I don't know, I see a lot of sells there. Well, maybe drop back down. People got their quick profits before the end of the year. They put, you know, they maybe bought at 25,000, boom. You know, they made what, 15K? You know, went up 15, they made 50K. It went up 15,000, boom, they dropped it. Now they're, you know, it's gonna go back down. They can buy it, rinse and repeat. I think that's a way to make money, but you're, then you're doing short-term capital gains. So I don't know. I don't know the best strategy. I mean, I'm just like holding it. It's kind of stupid. Maybe that's a dumb approach, but uh, yeah, what are you gonna do? So I now I'm gonna go look at my red coin, <laughs> my Raptorium. Oh my God, I got some other coin too. I forgot what. I got all these damn wallets. Uh, uh, let's see. And what's the other one? Oh my God, Pulsar? Is it Pulsar? All right, now I got to look. Sorry, I got to look. You guys, there it is, this stupid thing. Pulsar, and I get little, can you see that? This is a wallet. I got all this Pulsar. I don't know how, I can't remember if I mined it or bought it. I think I mined it. And then, uh, I get little um, <clears throat> little payouts here and there for staking. But what the hell is this thing worth? I gotta go figure this out. I want, I want my Bitcoin. So I have no idea. I gotta find out where I can dump this. But I'm staking, so I'm getting something for it. So maybe I'll just keep staking and go with that. Raptorium, all that work I did on Raptorium mining. Oh my God, I think it's barely worth, I don't know, I'm gonna say 50 bucks. <laughs> it makes you wanna cry. All that effort for 50 bucks. Yeah. All right, guys, that is all I want to talk about. I just want to reiterate, I am I am pro Bitcoin. I've learned the hard way messing with these stupid altcoins. Some may love them, some may that, but you guys, everyone gets all spun up over a coin. And then, like I said, how, is it easily moved to be sold? Can you sell it to Fiat? Or how, how are you gonna get rid of this thing if you wanna make a quick buck? 
And how do you know it's going to be around? I mean, I do believe in the project. I mean, that's really stretching it. I think the normies out there in the world, all they know is really Bitcoin and maybe Ethereum. I don't think they know Litecoin, but I know they know Bitcoin. If you say, hey, I just mined some Polestar, I'm going to be rich, yay. They're going to go, what? <laughs> I know Bitcoin. Is that like Bitcoin? Yeah, you got to think about the mass adoption. They're going to be adopting Bitcoin. So think about that. But if you're doing it as a hobby, yeah, Pulsar your butts away. I'm getting 90 Pulsar twice a month or maybe. Oh, look at that. Now I've been getting a couple. That may be no one's staking or mining this stuff anymore. So I'm collecting something. Uh, I don't know. Zero times zero is still zero, I guess. I don't know if it's worth anything. Same with Red Coin and same with Raptorium. I'm going to go check that in a minute. And I'll probably cry when I see it's worth five bucks. <laughs> so you got to have fun with this. You got to laugh. You got to enjoy yourself. Otherwise, you go nuts. Uh, it is fun. It is kind of fun. It's fun to talk about it and it's fun to learn about it. Uh, I'm just surprised it bolded today at 1400 hours. And let me go back. Yeah, where it's uh, 39.3. So it's ticking down a bit, but that's fine. I yeah. All right, guys, go forth through great things. Let me know if you think the 40,000 is a psychological barrier and what's going to happen. I'm just curious. You guys know more than me. I'm just an idiot sitting here with a little min pin dog who's looking at me. Probably has to go to the bathroom. So I got to take him out. And uh, that's all I got. All right, guys. Thank you. Hey, if this is fun, if you get any enjoyment out of this, go ahead. Thumbs up, man. Subscribe. I mean, it's just it's uh, it's it's just to see if I can get this channel any traction just trying to keep crap real and not uh, blow too much smoke up people's asses all right take care i'm out